Okay, can you just turn up your mumble volume a little bit? Oh, is mumble that loud? No, it's too quiet. Turn it up. Oh, turn it up. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, we have a seven character name we can have a quick bidding war for, which is plenty of room for a cat bag. There we go, that should be better. Or Bob if Hippie is still here. There we go. Do you have the stream set up? But yeah, we do have a name we can make as well, so... Alright, oh. thank you, thank you. This is also a 4x3 game, but... I'll, I guess I'll wait a bit. See what people want to do. Squid Girl is too long. Although, as a squid would work. Uh, we just received a character. $2 anonymous donation with no comment, so thank you for that. <laughs> Uh, Rogue said two dollars for naming a douche. I'd assume oh. that was Rogue's vote. And we have a fifteen dollar donation from CLG to name it uh, a get hippie. Uh, S K I T H P Y, which seems to be suck it hippie. Suck it hippie. <laughs> S K I T H P Y. I believe the chat has spoken, and they like our four by three setup. S K. I T H P Y. Yep. Suck it, hippie. Like that. Uh, correct. Okay. So, thank you for that donation. <laughs> I guess that would be it. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what nuked your donation, Rogue, but uh, we figured out what was happening. Um, I guess I'm ready to go when you are. You can just let me know when you are ready. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Alright, I'll just do a countdown on go. Um, so it'll go right when I hit the end here, so. Three, two... One, go. So this is Pokemon Snap. It is an auto-scroller uh, shooting game from Nintendo about Pokemon. Where you take pictures of Pokemon by shooting them in the face with a laser. So, basically the main way that you speedrun this game is by trying to get through levels as quickly as possible by not having to redo the levels. Um, which includes taking pictures that are worth a lot of points. Um, so in order to do that, we have very specific like uh, spots that we're going to try and take photos. That Butterfree is a weird pattern, but I think we're good. I'll just get it on the way back, just in case. So I had to take a picture of that Lapras on the right in order to get another Lapras to spawn further in the level. Um, the reason I'm looking up in the sky right now is because the frame rate on the N64 um, as well as Virtual Console for this game is really awful. So anytime there's Pokemon moving on the screen, it slows down the game by decreasing the frame rate. So in order to make the game go faster, we're not going to look at anything. Uh, this doesn't happen throughout the entirety of the run, but um, in a lot of levels you'll be seeing me do that just to try and save time. So right here we'll get Lapras while it's looking at its shell that's worth like 2,000 points or so. And then we'll just kind of look up at the sky again while we wait for uh, Doduo to pop out. Nintendo is... are they going to shut down the stream? I hope not. <laughs> Alright, so Doduo is going to pop out of the grass here very shortly. There we go. And then we're going to take a picture of Meowth. Uh, the other way that you beat this game very quickly is to get a certain Pokemon count after X amount of levels. Um, levels are unlocked based on the amount of Pokemon that you take pictures of. So that's why we took a picture of Kangaskhan, even though it's like a really shitty photo. Um, I think this Butterfree's fine, so I'm just gonna go with it. This other- actually this one's better. Never mind, we'll go with that one. 
Um, Professor Oak is really weird with the way he decides photos are good or not, too. Um, it's more about if it's center frame and looking at you, than if it's actually like a good quote unquote photo. So even though that Butterfree looked like it was off center or whatever, it was closer and it was looking at me, so I think it was worth more. That's why I went with it. So I actually have 17, 6, 17, 5. Perfect. So we're not going to go into the Pokemon Report because that's slow. Yeah! Um, also of note, this game only has 63 Pokemon, even though there were 151 at the time. I'm not sure if that was just a timer strength thing, but we're not going to see all the Pokemon. This is just an any percent run. Um, ideally, we're going to have like 44 by the end of the run. Maybe 45. So if you're hoping to see everything, I'm sorry. So this Electrode and this Pikachu should get us to 24 thou, uh, which will get us to the Apple, which will make it a lot quicker to go through this next level. Yeah, we're definitely at 24. Welcome back. There's the Apple. So now we'll go back through that level. And we'll bought Pikachu because he makes a cute noise. So, we're going to attempt to get past Electabuzz here. Um, by doing so, I'm hoping to bop him on the head a couple times before I get up to him. There we go. And we're going to try and sneak by him by bopping him right about here. Which will let our cart go by. And then we can get a picture of him looking at us as he runs back. That saves time because otherwise you have to wait for him. Or you get a really bad picture of his back, so that's just kind of worth more. Um, there's a electrode that explodes over there. That is a hint that you need to explode electrodes to get the Kakunas to fall down, so we're gonna do that. Right. Normally I take a picture of the Kakuna on the right, but uh, I was just in a bad spot. Now we need to get Zubat. There we go. And we're gonna look up at the sky again. Don't bully Pikachu. Dude, Pikachu got bopped. That's not my fault. Maybe it shouldn't have been there. You ever think of that? Huh? <laughs> so now we're going to get a picture of Magikarp, who's going to run, jump out of the water. And we're going to look up at the sky again. I trust... Uh, there is a lot of looking up at the sky, but there's not a lot of looking up at the sky, if that makes sense. Um, it's just really prevalent in the early stages, because there's so little you can do. So this is a Haunter. We're going to wait until the screen is right about past this little foam box. Get a picture of it there, and then we're gonna get a picture of Diglett. Um, in order to get Doug Trio, you need to take three pictures of Diglett, so we're gonna do that. Uh, this also gives you a really close picture of Diglett, so you can get more points. There we go. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna look up at the sky one more time. So now we need to get. Um, another reason to look up at the sky, actually, is because the game will load the level in front of you, and if you're looking at it, um, sometimes it loads incredibly slowly, which is obviously not ideal. So in order to get uh, Magneton here, you need to throw an apple and get the three Magnemites right next to each other. Uh, Magneton, turn around. There we go. And then we're gonna bop this electrode to make it explode up those rocks to get to the next level. So, that's the cave. Um, we're going to see that level again later, but much, much quicker. That was a good Haunter. And yeah, I think all my photos are good, actually. Perfect. So, the scariest part of the speedrun is like the first three levels, because if you mess up your points, it can screw up like getting items. Once you get those items, the rest of it's easy, because you can just make it up later if you fuck something up. So, all these should be wonderful. How many dead Electro Blood? Um. Like 400? Welcome back. Alright, so we're gonna go to Volcano. Uh, Volcano has some interesting things, because we're not going to do the whole level either. 
So first we're gonna try and get a picture of Rapidashes here. For some reason Professor Oak likes the picture better if you take a picture of its crotch. I don't know why it's worth more points, but that's the way it works. So we're gonna take a picture of Rapidash's crotch. I assume for value. And then we're gonna look up at the sky. The reason we're looking up at the sky, I'll show you. Uh, there's two Vulpixes which are really, really cute. If you look at them, they'll lag the game really badly. I know they're cute, but we need to avoid looking at them at all costs. Steal yourselves. We've got this. Oh god, this is hard. Okay, we did it. Oh man, that was close. Whew. So next we're gonna have to get uh, Magmar, Charmander, and Charmeleon. So I'm gonna try and lure the Magmar over to the right, which didn't work. Alright, we're just gonna go for it then. So I need to get a picture of this Charmander... No, eating the apple. I need to get a picture of this Magmar shooting him. And then I need to get a picture of Charmeleon after he's evolved. But I need him to stand up. There we go. I hope that's good. And then we'll get a picture of uh, Moltres here. While it's doing that, it's worth more points. Perfect. Also, apparently those two Magmars were killing each other in the background. I'm not sure why. Um, my Charmeleon might be dog poop. Because uh, if it's too far away, the game just arbitrarily decides that it's not a good photo. But we'll see. If it's bad, it's bad. That, that only hurts me a little bit later. No, it's good. Perfect. Awesome. So I'm at 69, 550. So I need 72, 500 for the next one. The Poliwag on the next level is only going to give me 2,000. So I need to get a Bulbasaur and a Poliwag. So we're not going to get the um, the fast early part of this level, unfortunately. But eh. Oh well. That just means my points were slightly off. So I need to get a jumping polywag. I'm going to wait just to make sure I got a jumping one. Um, jumping polywag's worth about 2,000 to 3,000. And then I'll just get a random picture of Bulbasaur. It doesn't matter what. This one's probably better. Um, this game also just arbitrarily decides that that polywag picture is bad sometimes because of like the vines in front of it can be covering it slightly. But all right, so now we're gonna get the uh, pester ball, which is very helpful because that'll let us finish the river stage without having to go through it again. Yes. There we go. So I'm just gonna look up at the sky for a bit. We already got the Bulbasaur and we already got Poliwag, so I'm just gonna skip this. Um, our next Pokemon we need to get is going to be Slowpoke, which is further ahead, so we'll just try and make the game go faster. Have a five dollar donation from Eric E with no comment. Yeah, uh, I think so it might be eating donation. comments, actually. Hmm. But thanks for the donation. Alright, so here is Slowpoke. We're gonna try and get a little bit of a uh, three-way combo going here. Let's up have one. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna try and lure it over to this Slowpoke. Slowpoke, you're dumb. Slowpoke. Slowpoke, please. Alright, this isn't gonna be great because I'm... Slowpoke was a little slow. But we're gonna try and get Slowpoke, Shelter, and Slowbro all in one go. Um, this is not quite great positioning, but we'll go with it. He took a little too long to get over where I wanted him to go. So that's just not going to be worth as many points, but it's whatever. Slowpoke's a jerk. So, eh, we still got it. Yeah, that is what happened, Hippie. That is, that was an absurd, absurd thing. So I need to hit preferably both of these, but the arc is kind of weird on this. There we go. It's just worth more points if there's more of them in the picture. Yeah, Dax might need to look at the uh, um, donations because it ate someone's message a little bit earlier too. So, I'm going to be quiet here. I need to listen for Cloyster. Which spawned. Uh, Cloyster is a 1 in 3 chance of spawning and there's 3 spots at the end of this level it can spawn. Um, those are the only spots in the game that will spawn though. If you get Cloyster it saves 30 seconds on the run. 
um, and gives you an extra 2,000 points. And if you don't get Cloyster, you have to um, extend a level later on to get your Pokemon count up by one. But we're done with River. That went pretty well. <laughs> Uh, besides the slowpoke, the slowpoke could have been a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe a little bit on one. Yes. Oh, you were close. Mmm, wonderful. Oh my, your mother was great last night. Mmm. Thanks, Professor Oak. I appreciate that. You're a real, real pal. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna do the cave level. Oh, wonderful! So in, in the cave level, um, there's a little Grimer that will spawn way off in the distance here at the beginning of the level. You need to take a picture of it. So we're gonna look over here for it to spawn. There we go. Uh, what that does is it causes a Grimer to spawn over here, uh, which gives you a close picture of Grimer and Muck. Otherwise, you can't really get it. So. Looking up at the sky again, just for a little bit. There we go. Take a picture of it after we throw a pester ball on it, because it annoys it. Um, and then we're going to try to hit one of these dittos, which I did. Turn around, get a picture of Muck, too, because I'm dumb. Oh. And ditto, perfect. And then I'll just look up at the sky again. There's a lot of just sort of looking at the sky to try and lower frame rate, or, or to try and raise the frame rate. Um, all right, so next is this Jigglypuff and this coughing. I, mean, I need to wait till they get closer. Here we go, and this next one, perfect, and get him along the way. Alright, so Weeping Bell is kind of a troll. We'll see if I get him. Uh, his movement is completely random, so he can stop randomly, and if he doesn't land in the pool, you have to wait for him to come back around, which is also random. So it's very obnoxious, but we got there first try. It can waste a lot of time, though, if it just like randomly stops and misses your apple. <laughs> is this currently a bad stream layouts? Sick. There's a few pictures of me on the stream. Just Don't a couple? worry about it. Oh, just okay. Just, just a couple? Okay. Just a couple! Just a couple! <laughs> so most of these should be wonderful if I did it right. Alright, we're good. So the next thing I need is 130,000. I have 114, so I need to get at least 16,000. I can do that in four photos. So... Yes. That's 7,000. That's that's 15,000. I need 16. No, I need to take five. Okay. So we're gonna have to take five photos. Um, ideally, you want to take three on this stage. So that sucks. That's just because my points are a little bit off. But uh, we'll just deal with it. Um, I think my points are off because of the Bulbasaur. Normally I get a double Bulbasaur there, which gives me like an extra thousand. But uh, oh well. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to bop this Magikarp. Um, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I I'm being told that there is more than just a couple on screen. I don't think that's true. I think someone is lying to me. Ch chat, uh, please. I'd recommend not worrying about it. <laughs> so, we took a picture of that Geodude just to get an extra, like, 2,000 points. Uh, but the other Pokemon we need to get are this Sandslash and this Graveler, and then just two more down the road. And then uh, we'll be done. That's all the pictures of Pokemon, except for one, which will go unnamed, um, which we need to get later. Uh, there's no spoilers on the screen as to what the last Pokemon is. Also, I forgot to get something at the beginning of this level because I'm an idiot. So we're gonna have to go back in this level for like 10 seconds. So sorry about that. Um, at the beginning of this level, there's a Doug Trio in the background. You can take a picture of that for something later, but uh, I just forgot about it. 
Alright, so we're gonna hit this Magikarp, which is perfectly fine. Into the water here. And the Koi has turned into a dragon slash Gyarados. Pick a second one just in case. And then we just have one more Pokemon to get. Um, we're gonna ignore Star You and Star Me and all that. We don't need them. Alright, so the next Pokemon we need here is Dragonite, which is in this Whirlpool. So we're gonna throw a couple Pester Balls in to knock him out of it. And then we're gonna wait until he goes Durr! three times. Durp. Durr. Durr. There we go. Got a good picture. Alright, so now I really don't want to fuck this up because it's easy. So I need to hit the Squirtle with this Mankey. There we go. That is not hard to do, but eh, it happens sometimes. Um, what happens sometimes is you're like slightly aimed off of where the Mankey is and you don't hit it. And it's kind of annoying. But uh, I'm really bad at blind hitting this Mankey. Alright, so now that we have unlocked Professor Oak's dam into his secret lake dungeon, which I assume is what this is, um, he's going to tell us about Pokemon um, signs, oh. one of which was that Doug Trio picture I should have taken at the beginning of the level. Wait. Uh, which lead to a mysterious Pokemon that shall go unnamed. Alright, so this should be at least 16,000. Oh, actually, I might not have needed the Geodude. Wait. Nope, I did. I would have missed it by, like, 10 if I didn't get the Geodude. That's kind of funny. Alright, so what this says is it gives us the Dash Engine, which allows you to go faster through levels. And then if we had also gotten the Pokemon sign, we would have gotten the Poke Flute. But because I'm dumb, we're going to have to waste, like, 10 seconds here to get this. Since it just completely slipped my mind. Wonderful. Wait. Welcome back. Alright, so now we just need to get the rest of the Pokemon signs. So I'm going to try and look up at the sky while I'm going fast through these levels to not have the Pokemon spawn on the sides. Um, again, just to make the game go faster. So, this Pokemon sign is actually these little hard-to-see glowing rocks. When you take a picture of it, your camera flash turns into Mewtwo, which I think I first learned about in, like, a Nintendo Power issue. Wonderful! As a kid. Welcome back. Yes. All right, off to the river. Uh, also of note, the game does move faster if you're in the center of the screen rather than off to the side for some reason. So I keep uh, C sticking up to the center. This game, by the way, is. Um, pretty easy to get into if you want to get into speedrunning, and the community is really awesome, like super friendly and helpful. So for anybody out there who wants to find a game from their childhood that they want to play and also enjoys auto-scrolling Nintendo shooters, um, this could be a fun game to play. Welcome back. Yes. Alright, so in order to get this one, you have to throw a Pester Ball into that um, lava crater right there. Which gives you a coughing. Our picture doesn't look anything like coughing, though. Wonderful. And then just two more to go. We're almost done. So the next level actually has a trick to it. Um, we're going to try and do this, so I'm going to explain it as we go. It's right near the beginning. So there's this Electrode and this Electabuzz that we got by earlier. 
So we're gonna have to sneak by them. We have to let the Electro go first. Bop this nerd, and then run by him. There we go, we bopped him. What happens if you miss that is you run into the Electabuzz, your car stops for like five seconds. The Electro catches up to you from behind, it stops you for five seconds, and then the Electabuzz catches up to you again, and it stops you for five seconds. So it's a really shitty thing to miss. I'm not gonna look at that, but just trust me in that there's a Zapdos spawning on the screen. There we go. Look, alright, this is a full bully game. That's all we do is bully nerds. Pokemon is all about bullying people and stealing their money. It's not my fault. Yes. That's okay, we're gonna get bullied pretty soon, so it's fine. Welcome back. Alright, last level yes. here before the final boss. Because this game has a boss. Hashtag bring back bullying. Hashtag uh, anti-bully rangers last week's news. Hashtag bully the bully ranger. Or the anti-bully ranger. Yes. Wonderful. Yeah, I did show the picture to Professor Oak. World record for this game is 21 something. Um, which is only possible by doing the looking at the sky FPS yeah. tricks that I'm doing. Yes. Uh, sub 23 is impossible without that. Alright, so now we have the boss, which will go unnamed. Because it has a really shitty hitbox. And I hate it. And we're gonna bully it. And you're gonna like it. There we go. So you have to hit uh, Mew three times here, and then it loses its first ball, then you have to hit it three more times. The hitbox on this this uh, orb is surprisingly annoying. Because your pester balls and apples and such will just go through it sometimes for no real perceivable reason. But we got there only missing once, which is not bad, actually. I'll take it. Usually, I mean, ideally you don't want to miss it all, but... Alright, we're just gonna get a picture of Mew, it doesn't really matter what it looks like. Uh, time is coming up pretty soon. I'll let you know. Um, that's the last thing we have to do in the game, the rest is just mashing through menus. So, right when it says saving on the screen here will be the end. And... time. 25-11. Oh, that's a PB. Oh, oh new well record. Done. Yeah, I, I... Huh, by six seconds. Nice. That's your second PB of the marathon. I even fucked up. <laughs> nice! You PB pep... You PB pep the man as well, right? Yeah, I did. By like a minute. Wow, that's uh, sick. Only PB Chandler, too. Dude, I had a really freaking good run for Chandler. <laughs> I was expecting like 25 should... minutes of just dirtling around doing nothing. You should do more marathons. <laughs> But anyway, that, that's uh, Pokemon Snap. It's going to show us some pictures that we took during the run, but that's basically all there is to it. Um, it's a pretty easy speedrun. I would suggest giving it a try sometime if you're interested or if you like playing the game as a kid. Um, the 100% is kind of bullshit because there's a bunch of randomness involved with getting Cloyster and Arcanine, which are like actually completely random. But yeah, I like this game. Um, that's it. Did we have someone to fill in after? For... Yeah. Up Time. next is uh, M1 is going to be doing Silent Hill 3 UFO percent. Oh cool, we're just going to push ahead. Awesome. Well, I will get out of here if you want to play music whatever way he sets up. And thanks for, thanks for having me. Alright, thank you folks.